When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's up, YouTube? It's Webby Aftermath. Check this out. First off, me and G Fuel are giving away the newest flavor of G Fuel, Raging Gummy Fish. Raging Gummy Fish. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description. You can get some free ones and we'll be giving away five runner up packages as well. So it's free. Like all you gotta do is just sign up. Just go in the link in the description and go through it. All right. Second off, today we're gonna do leg training. No squats, just all volume. Um, you know, hypertrophy work, as many sets, reps, whatever. We'll be doing uh, descents from like one to three seconds on the leg press. So just, just follow along and see what I'm doing and stay safe. It's, I'm, I'm, can I say this is knee friendly? I can kind of say this is knee friendly, but we're gonna start with leg extensions, four sets of 20s. We might come back to it uh, at the end of the workout, but this is purely just to get warmed up. You don't go all the way up. Like we're not killing the knees today. So update with the AirPods, they kind of hurt after a while in the ear. My, my ears start to get tender. One thing you do not want to do is jump to exercises like hack squat and lunges without at least two movements before to warm up the knees and the quads. Um, you know, those hit the knees very heavily, especially lunges. And one thing to do, you don't want to go into lunges cold turkey at all. So make sure you are doing at least two movements to get the quads primed and the knees primed and ready before jumping into movements like that. I, I would even say the same thing for squats. Not always should you jump into squats, you know, first thing. I like to do like plyometric stuff before I jump into squats uh, majority of the time. Oh, one more sec. So everything that I'm doing right now, the four sets, I am increasing the weight. Um, you know, starting out low, 20 reps, going higher and higher until I get to a prime set. But not too heavy to where my, you know, I'm feeling it in my kneecaps. This is not meant to be doing heavy weights. I should, I should really honestly never see a full rack, a full rack done. If I ever see like this, let me, matter of fact, let me try. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, no. This is an accessory movement. This is not something where you max out on. Second off, is it's your adductors and abductors. A lot of us pretty much neglect these two movements because we look at these machines like, oh, you know, the Instagram models are making this a female machine. No, this is very beneficial for that. It's gonna help you increase your squat and your performance. But the more uh, stability we have in these areas, the easier it is for us to cut, run straight, jump straight, jump uh, laterally. This is very beneficial. So I would say um, we're gonna do four sets, about, what, 20 reps. We're gonna go down 15, we're gonna down 10, and a 10 and 10 reps again. You're gonna be upright, keep that neutral spine, because this is gonna be the position you're gonna be in doing the athletic movement. You're gonna be right here. A little bit forward, actually, but you're never gonna be like this, right? Everything needs to be boom, boom. When you make that movement, you're cutting, you're running. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Going up in weight. Got 15. Moving over. descents. That means we're going to do a slow descent. One, two, three. Push up, explosive. One, two, three. 20 reps. These two, two plates may not seem like anything, but doing it this way, yeah.
two, three reps, 15 reps. And then we're just gonna uh, am wrap opposite. So I'm gonna drop the weight as many reps as possible, take it off. Then. We got four plates for 10 reps, twice, and then as many reps as possible. Uh, two, three. Activation 15, 10, 6, 6. Put this right here. Right. Workout, so I catch my breath. We're in the workout with 21s, three sets of 21s. So that means you're gonna do partial, I mean, full reps, half reps, and then partials all the way down. Seven, seven, seven. I got a message for everybody. And this goes out to everybody that commented on the last video with Joe. Knowing that he's an IFBB pro, you know, so y'all know, y'all already know how that game go. But check this out. We as people, and I put, made a post on this on Instagram, we're not equal, bro. Like, you can't, we're not equal. If you look at me and the random person next to me, you can, you can see, if you go to the mall, look at yourself, look at everybody else. We're not equal, right? Understand that, right? The, but my development is different from yours. How I was raised is different from how you were raised, you know? and. You know, I've been training, I've, 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 I've experienced all type of training styles. And I've had, you know, progress with almost everything because my body eventually adapts. Not everybody's body can adapt to all types of training styles. Not everybody can be super strong. Not everybody is gonna be, I mean, fuck bro. I, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you guys, man. Cause you guys expect that, you know, 
just because somebody else can do it, you can do it too, and that's not the case. That's really, it's really not the case. You know, you don't know how many years somebody has over you. You don't know what their process was of, 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 of being raised. And, you know, just throwing, throwing out, you know, and, and we know pretty, you know, I don't even know how to, uh, I don't even know how to, to, to say this because everybody acts like they know who's on gear and who's not, blah, blah, blah. Everybody thinks they're a fucking scientist or some shit. And, you know, to be honest, you know, some people are just, you just know, like, you know what I mean? Come on, bodybuilders and shit. Like, you know, somebody that's overly stupid, ripped and shredded, skin, what is it? Uh, dick, dick skin shredded and stuff. Like, you know, stuff like that, yeah. But you can't just point out to somebody and say, oh, he does that type of training. Yeah, he's on steroids. He can't recover from that. Who, who, are, who are you to tell somebody that they can't recover from a type of training just because you can't do it? Uh, you, that's not your natural limit. You, 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 you're, you're passing your natural limit of, of workouts or you, know, you can't go past more than 12 reps or blah, blah, blah. No, breaking down muscles, breaking down muscle regardless. We, we were shit dicked on in growing up in football. They tore our ass down. We did weight training, bro. It, what was crazy, we, we did weight training. And then we would take our ass outside to do mile runs, 400 meter runs, 200 meter runs. Constantly, you know, everybody's getting cramped, everybody's breaking down, blah, blah, blah. But we still did that shit as teenagers in high school. You know what I'm saying? Two a days, you know, uh, seven o'clock workout and then a four o'clock workout later in the fucking day. And, you know, somebody commented and said, yo, is it, is it good to do two a days? And somebody said, no, people that are natural can't do two a days. That is the stupidest shit I've ever heard. And I'm so sick and tired of everybody just throwing shit out there that they think is just not uh, a natural athlete can't do uh, like it's it's so it's so sickening that where we've come right now to the point of anything that's just out of the ordinary is just he's, he's an unnatural athlete all right and on top of that honestly bro who gives a fuck if you you you, you everybody should know their body eventually and know what works and what doesn't or whatever you know like i said not everybody can do a certain workout and it works for them but doesn't mean you can't try it. I feel great, hell, I train, uh, I've, I've trained with huge bodybuilders and the whole workout, I'm like, damn, you do this much, damn, you do that, damn, you do this, you know? I'm feeling like shit during the workout. I'm still going, I'm still doing it. My muscles being broken down, I eat my protein, I'm still growing from it, you know, somehow. Yeah, the recovery sucks. It takes, it takes longer than usual because that's not how I usually train, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? So, don't sit there and say, look at a type of workout and just throw your shit out there. Give it a try, just fucking enjoy fitness, man. That's what everybody trying to look for some, some shit to say about a workout or, or a person, man. Just enjoy fucking working out. I mean, nobody's selling you shit. Nobody's saying this is, this is this and blah, 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 order this, blah, blah. Come on, guys. Like, seriously. All right, let's be better. Let's be better in the fitness industry. Let's do better, let's help each other. Let's promote each other, you know. If people are being fake, then let them be be fake. Don't deal with them, all right? Point blank. I'm out. Find me on Twitch. You wanna talk more about this? Cause I go off on, why am I constantly getting 12 year olds and 13 year olds talking about, yo, I'm trying to run tests. I'm, try I'm trying to run tests, I'm trying to run stuff. Bro, and um, bro, no. No, nobody should be trying anything until after the age of 21. And I don't even promote that. No, but even still, nobody. I don't care, I don't care what, what your friends are doing in high school. Be better than that, man, because that shit will fuck you up. And, that, and that's something, once you get into it, you're gonna constantly wanna be into it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not like because you're gonna be addicted to the powers of the stones. You understand what I'm saying? And don't, don't, don't set yourself up for that. So don't set yourself up for, because eventually it comes out to failure. You know, eventually, eventually something's gonna fuck you up with it. You're gonna do something wrong and your penis won't work anymore. Or your balls are gonna be so fucking small. Your, your girl can't even suck on them anymore. She's just sucking on the bottom of your penis. And uh, fucking, yo, know, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's upsetting. It's upsetting and, and just don't do it. I'm, I'm out, y'all. Peace. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.